Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with the Oddball Cards. It is September 8th, if you can believe that. Again, uh, my newest favorite hangout. I was hanging out the other day with David Pert in Northern California. And uh, we'd had a couple too many belly burgers. And we decided to go looking for Tatooine. Uh, Steven Spielberg... George Lucas seemed to just have uh, such exact pictures that we figured we would go looking for it or at least try to find where Fernando Tatis Jr. came from in future space time. And I must say we struck out on both both counts. This, excuse me, this is, these are some wonderful miscut cards. Shout out to Chatty P who just simply said I thought Oddball would like them. I love anomalies, not just in the space-time continuum, but also in baseball cards. Only real pickup I've gotten since we last spoke was I did find a, a Manny Machado Bowman rookie for $4, and since he has been struck by the Fernando Tatis Jr. future space ray, man, he's playing well. It's a shame that Hosmer got dinged up, but they did trade for Mitch Moreland. The Padres... And the Spaceman Tatis are just on fire. I did come across another uh, baseball card day pack. And look at that. Mr. Machado is just following us around. I think there are worse people to have us following around. Uh, today I thought we'd do a little tops mixer. Kind of clear out the odds and ends of a couple of things in my collection and then a couple things we picked up so here's a pack of 2019 archives which if you're new here i absolutely hated at the time it was uh it is nice to look at these old players but i was obsessed with value and now as time is going on i am loving just hey this is great just right on cue i am loving the rookies uh in this set so no they're not the flagship ones look at that pete alonzo i should just sell the rest of the packs i'm not gonna but i should if i were smarter oh and i uh i already put it away but i made the statement that probably the nico horner autograph i got was a, a short print or alternate with the auto i should have a section called oddball is a dumb dumb it was exactly the same as the base card I found as I was sleeving everything up. Great picture of Junior there. Goodness. I suppose that's what we're doing in archives is taking a walk through the past. Silly me. David Pert and I were gallivanting through the future looking for Tatooine. Probably wasting our time, but that's what happens when you eat too many big greasy burgers. Shout out to Paul C. Tony D. Frank the Tank. All right, what do we have here? D. Gordon. Hey, look at this. Man, I started this box just hoping we got a Vladimir Guerrero Future Stars design. This one, I believe, if it's not numbered and it doesn't appear to me. Oh, yeah, it is. Duh. It's an uh, out of 25. And Ian Desmond. Look at that. Really cool. Archives, uh, even I give it a bad rap. I put it kind of above, let's see, I put it above opening day, but below most of the other sets. But man, do I have fun once I just uh, get off my high horse and open it. Man, this guy has been hitting the cover off the ball. No kidding here. So this is out of my collection. I was going, I guess I have to start sleeving Rowdy Telez. Could be just a couple week power surge, but uh, hey, I, I'm not ready to put him in with all the super good rookies, but which is probably good because I think I have some Rowdy Telez autographs that luckily I sat on them and did not. Ah, another Eloy. I am a big Eloy fan. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm just saying I'm a fan. No, my. And El Tortuga, I believe it's pronounced. All right. Next two I just picked up at my local card store. I think they're, I don't know if they're retail or uh, hobby. I think they're retail based on the price. I think I just paid $4 a pack. But 
I was at a break of 2014 draft, and there are so many good guys in it. Not this one. Sorry, Mr. Walker. No offense. Shane Zeal has a cool name, but not who we're looking for. Chrome. Here's a first of Nick Torres. I'm not going to throw it in the garbage, but these are not the guys we're looking for. Bunch of big names. The only one I can think of that I'm fairly confident in is Trey Turner. Unfortunately, I only did buy two packs, uh, and I'm glad I bought them. Even if we strike out totally, just fun to see something else. The little baby Clint Frazier. He's hitting the cover off the ball with all the Yankees injuries. Jake Stinnett. Stinnett? I'm going to go with Stinnett. Hey, Reese McGuire. That's pretty cool to see his prospect card. Brian Shales. Sorry for the glare. And look at that. We got some color. Not of anyone we probably want, but we will honor that. A big hit out of a retail pack. Blue, which is numbered at a 399. Okay, so I was thinking I got like an out of 25 hit of someone I didn't know. Hey, Austin Meadows prospect card. And the last one, all right. Well, that's nice. Matt Chapman first. I know I don't I don't think I have that. Might not know much about Matt Chapman. And we will close out the video with the space alien himself. I came across three retail packs. I was dying to finish my hobby box, but then I did the math on what it would the price per pack. Let's see. So if I open six 10 at 6.25 a pack. I thought, well, I will just clear out these odds and ends. There's a nice Adbert Alzale. Just a great looking picture. Man, Stadium Club rocks. Let's see here. We're pretty safe from Dwight. Haven't heard from him. Perhaps some of the, uh, you know, wrinkles we put in in the time travel. Perhaps he got tired. I am older than him, but uh, am pretty spry. Maybe he's getting older and having a hard time keeping up with me. All right. Two more retail stadium club pass. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to talk about with Oddball as a dum-dum. I was crying about how the hobby box was smaller. I didn't realize hobby packs have eight cards per pack, and these retail have five. So I did get more for my money with the hobby. I was already still loving it, mostly because I can't drive down to the Walmart or Target and sometimes I don't feel safe doing it and just grab stuff off the shelf. But I was happy. That's another uh, another correction of oddball as a dum-dum. Three, three more cards per pack times 16, so 48 more cards. I'll live with that. That's uh, That's quite a few more cards. Didn't realize that. Mostly because I'm just not the smartest guy you're ever going to meet. So this is backwards. Oh, because it's a red foil of Luis, Luis Severino. This man has decided to come play baseball. Holy cow. I had written him off. Last pack. Probably everybody but Haas of Cards. Shout out to the three sports star. Might even uh, have some hockey TTM if you haven't checked out Haas of Cards. Haas is the man. So everyone but him is like, come on, just get through the cards, oddball. Yippity yappity yappity yap. But I think I came out of the womb talking. I won't lie to you. Every time I get into my car, I lock the door because I'm always running my mouth if I'm awake. And last card is a backwards Andrew Benatendi. Nice. Nice note to end on. Great photography. Nice sepia from Stadium Club. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Hope everyone is safe and has a good week. As always, Oddball out.